All right, let's head up the coast to Port, the Portland headlight in Cape Elizabeth, Maine. Ryan Britton, the meteorologist there at New Center, Maine in Portland. Hey, Ryan, what's happening in your neck of the woods today? Here comes the beach ball. Uh, I got it, Al. Thank you. Good morning. Glad to be joining you from Portland, Maine. Uh, the Portland headlight just outside Portland and Cape Elizabeth, and it's a beautiful morning. One of the earliest sunrises of the year this morning. About 5 o'clock, the sun came up, and it's mostly sunny. And it's actually a little bit humid. Uh, dew point right around 65. And in northern New England, that's when people start to feel pretty uncomfortable. This is a climate where it doesn't get that humid that often, but in recent summers, it certainly has been. Temperature right now is 70 degrees, but we are right here on the beautiful Maine coastline. So we have a nice little sea breeze coming in off the ocean right now, keeping us cool. Over the weekend, we had some thunderstorms. There actually was a tornado warning for parts of the Maine coastline around Rockland back on Saturday. Uh, yesterday, a little bit of a break, but today we have another threat for showers and thunderstorms this afternoon. There's a front coming in from the west, and the chance this afternoon will be highest in western Maine, the mountains over into New Hampshire for some showers and thunderstorms this afternoon. There's actually a slight risk for severe weather in our mountains. Closer to the coastline, this southerly breeze will do two things. It'll keep us a little bit cooler today. Along the coastline, we'll have highs around 80, while farther inland, we'll get up close to 90 with higher humidity. And that southerly wind will also prevent a lot of the storms from making it to the coast. So here at Portland Headlight, we should stay dry today while farther inland, they may be dealing with some nasty storms later on. Al, you've been talking about Claudette, Tropical Storm Claudette. That's going to be moving to our south out over the Atlantic. It will throw some waves our way the next few days, so some higher rip currents will be an issue at the beaches. And tomorrow with that front in the area, it'll be mostly cloudy. It'll be very humid tomorrow. Temperatures in the 70s with a chance for some showers and even a few tropical downpours. Now that front comes through tomorrow night and then it cleans us out totally new clear air moving in for the end of the week on Wednesday we'll have sunshine temperatures around 70 with low humidity kind of the typical main summer weather that people come to expect this time of the year and that continues Thursday oh, sunshine highs in the lower to mid 70s overnight lows will be down around 50 so super comfortable air we have had to run our ACs pretty frequently so far this summer but they will get a break after tomorrow Friday looks great too. sunshine temperatures in the mid 70s at the coastline up closer to 80 inland as we get Fantastic. into the weekend, we'll have to watch for the chance for some showers, but definitely not a guarantee at this point in time. As for our summer forecast, temperatures have been above average so far this summer. They're expected to remain above average through the summer. And there's also the threat of above average precipitation, which is good news because we are in a moderate drought here along the coast of Maine. And this is kind of our dry season where we get uh, periodic showers mm -hmm. and thunderstorms. It really takes a larger tropical system to spread heavy, heavy rain up our way. But the way it looks right now, above All average right. temperatures this summer, above average precip, and good news. Al, I've got the beach ball. We're sending it back to you. All right. I'm ready for it. Toss it, baby. Got it. All right, Ryan, thank you so much.